Oh, where am I today? Ah, downtown Brooklyn. But you guys have never been here before. So I'll just do a little review today. It was an interesting week. Had a Supreme Court judge on the grill. Ooh. Interesting also is I want to talk about censorship. Censorship, censorship on the uh, on the internet. The rise of the great crusaders, the great speakers of our time are evolving on the internet. But we're being censored, we're being held back. Oh no. What are we going to do? So this is downtown Brooklyn. This is um for lack of a better term, Woody Allen territory. You see, he used to come down here all the time and uh, <clears throat> sit and read in his movies. And take a look. You'll see where I am in a second. So anyway, censorship on the internet, right? It's a term called a SRO, a self-regulating organization, which for the most part we have to be. But at this time, YouTube, you know, has everybody bought the balls, you know? They decide who they're gonna pay. See, the thing with monetization that I'm learning is that if you'll get a, you'll get a, uh, you'll get this little, little um, exclamation point that says, you could, uh, on every video, it's either a dollar sign, monetized, or it'll say, this video is not uh, appropriate for our sponsors. Right? And you look, it's like Hillary Clinton or so you know, something that I mean that's actually a badge of honor. I don't want to be considered appropriate for corporate donors, corporate sponsors. Who gives a shit about that? But it is interesting that there is a divide. That there is a a distinction in speech, what is acceptable and monetizable and what is considered not monetizable, right? It's definitely interesting stuff, right? It's an interesting time we live where we're censored because what it does is it causes you to say, hmm, I'll make a video about, you know, about, um, I don't know, anything. I don't know, dick and pussy or something. Some stupid, some stupid video or cat video and I'll get 100,000 views. But if I talk about something important to the people, you know, something political, I could get banned. And that's pretty crazy, right? Because it does have an effect on people's decisions on content providers, what type of content they're going to make, right? Emerald City. Ah, the good island of Manhattan. This is the uh, promenade in Brooklyn. Beautiful, isn't it? Statue of Liberty. Lady Liberty. Swing out this way. It's Lower Manhattan. First bridge is Manhattan, Brooklyn. And past that is the Williamsburg Bridge. So this is where Woody Allen used to make his movies. He used to do those walks. I think he, he was in, in Annie Hall. He was down here. So although we think we have freedom of speech online and we, we have this wild west of internet content, it's being, it's being influenced by the influencers, right? It's being influenced by people, the corporations, Google who decides what is appropriate to make money. What is appropriate, right? Nobody tells them what's appropriate. They tell us what's appropriate based on what? Their opinion, right? So it's their opinion that's deciding what is appropriate for you to hear and, to, and for me to hear. That's pretty heavy, right? A lot of tourists that come down here, you know. And what difference does it make that Kavanaugh? It looks like Trump is gonna 
issue a little FBI investigation. That's not right, but that's what's going to happen. And um, Democrats are going to hold it off for fictitious social reasons. Right? It's unfortunate, right? That's the state of things. But if he gets in, then you just got another corporatist judge. If he doesn't get in, then you have Trump picking some other idiot out of the hat, right? Are these guys constitutionalists? I don't think they even know what it is anymore. I think they're all just, they follow the money, right? That's our city. That's our, that's the state of our, our government right now. And in, in our little communities, we chop each other up, right? Forced to fight over crumbs, right? We're all trying to get the message out. We're all trying to make it a little, make the country a little better, a little easier for most people, right? While the rich get richer, while the one percent expand their wealth to new heights. Instead of three houses, they own five houses. Instead of, you know, five cars, they got 20 cars. So, that's really it. Check back later. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm going to go enjoy the day. Peace.